All right, hello everyone. Here we are back for another guide. Of course, I'm playing somebody with a Sniper 10. It's going to be very, very challenging to beat this guy, especially with this easy of a wind. So I'm really up against it here. Um, I'm going to need, you know, this guy to really lose it on distance control. Uh, one thing that I can hope for is that he doesn't, he uses maybe a little bit too much backspin and then doesn't go enough rings. Into the wind like this, I'm going to use max club plus probably about 10%. And if somebody doesn't factor in that 10%, they could clip the rough, but it looks like he just cleared it. But, oh, no, that's going to be tidy. Uh, that's going to be real hard for me to beat. Uh, but as I mentioned, you know, definitely be thinking about that, exactly what I said, because my opponent was very, very close to potentially, you know, messing that up. Now, what I'll usually do is right around maybe three, three and a half, I'm going to back off, sets it straight into the wind. So here you're going to see I'm going to use maybe two and three quarters. As I mentioned, you know, I'm going to go a little bit extra. I'm going to go plus 10% on this ring adjustment. So that's going to equate to 3.3 rings. And as I mentioned, especially without the, uh, you know, extended ball guide like my opponent has, First, I'm going to need perfect ball. And uh, next, I'm going to, uh, you know, and I missed my perfect ball. So it's it's not going to uh, end pretty for me on this one. Uh, let's see if I had the distance control. Looks pretty good. I had a chance to win with perfect ball. So, um, you know, hopefully you guys can have a little bit better timing. As I mentioned, you know, you can make the swap over to Sniper starting at a level 8. As you can see, all the opponents that I'm playing are very stacked with clubs. I only have a Sniper 7, which can get me into trouble on the shootout. And as soon as you get to a Sniper 8, that is the club that you're going to want to use for this tour. I just don't have one yet. So that's the reason you see me doing what I'm doing. So good luck with that hole, guys. Catch you guys on the next one.